The second sealed envelope with the second half of the third secret of Fatima states. In Portugal, the dogma of the faith will always be preserved. A great chastisement will fall on the entire human race. Not today, as yet, not tomorrow, but in the second half of the 20th century. No longer does order reign anywhere. And Satan will reign over the highest places, directing the courses of events. He, Satan, will succeed in infiltrating the top of the church. Also for the church, a time of the greatest trials will come. Cardinals will oppose cardinals, bishops will oppose bishops, and Satan will march himself amidst their rank. And in Rome, there will be changes. What is rotten will fall, and what would fall will never rise again. The church will be darkened, and the world deranged by terror. A great war will break out within the second half of the 20th century. Fire and smoke will come from the sky. The waters of the oceans will be will turn to steam, hurling their foam toward the sky, sinking everything. Millions. And millions of men will lose their lives from one hour to the next. And those who remain living will envy those who are dead. Death will reign everywhere for the terror committed by the foolish and by the partisans of Satan, who, then and only then, will reign over the world. At last, those who will survive all of these events will once more proclaim God and his glory and will serve him as before, when the world had not yet become corrupted. Go, my child, and proclaim this. I shall always remain by your side to help you. Now, I know immediately what some of your auditors will think. A war in the second half of the 20th century? It didn't happen. And you would be quite right. And yet, I'd like to read to you, if you permit me, a pr um, message that our Lord Jesus Christ gave some time before to Marie Julie Jani from La Podet, which we talked a couple of weeks ago, and which mm -hmm. is very relevant to this particular message. The message goes as such People are disappointed in that what I have ordered to be announced for men to convert has not yet taken place. They will think to be able to affront the elected souls who, because of their actions, I shall have delayed somewhat the terrible events that are yet to come. If in my kindness, and because of the expiation which have been offered to me, I delay the disaster, I do not eliminate it. This does not depend on the judgment of ignorant men. Must I myself give accounts to those who do not want to know anything? This message was given by our Lord Jesus Christ to Marie Julie Jani, a very apropos message. Nevertheless, a war that would start in the second half of the century. If memory serves, we went through what we call the Cold War. This Cold War that the world has lived through from 1945, when the ashes of Nazism barely fell back on the ground again, saw the rise of a new threat, considerably more dangerous, that of communist Russia and communist China. A threat which to this day, we're seeing, still seeing the consequences thereof. The, what we're seeing in Russia, particularly and most dangerously in China, is only a prelude of what is yet to come. Oh, yeah. I, would, I would call your auditors to also keep their mind, their attention, on Iran and on North Korea. Mm. 